Goody once again. You are welcome to yet another class. We have had a look at uh, the segmental features of English language, uh, which has to do with how vowels and consonants combine together to form words. But today, we are starting with supra-segmental features, which are stress and intonation. But we are going to deal with the first one, the former one, which is uh, the stress. Meaning, what is stress? Stress is an extra force used when pronouncing a particular word or syllable. Stress has to do with the emphasis or relative force or loudness given to one syllable of a bisyllabic or multisyllabic word, thereby making that syllable more prominent than the other one or ones. You understand what I mean by the, by, than the other one and one? If it is a two syllables, that is, one will be louder than the other one, uh, if it's multisyllable, one will be louder than the others. That's what I mean. Some African languages are tonal in nature. An example of such languages is Yoruba language. In Yoruba language, for instance, we have these words. Iba, Kalabash. Iba. Pine one tapas rope. Iba garden egg. Iba two hundred. Iba time or period. Now you will find out that there are some things done on some of these words. Like the first one, we have the other in Yoruba language. You see the sign goes to the right. That one is. Mm. sound. And look at the second one that comes to the left on R there, that is mm. and uh, the third one we have mm. and mm. now, the next one we have mm -mm. that one has, has no sign. The E there in Yoruba does not have sign. The R there in Yoruba does not have sign. And the last one we have mm. Mm. That is, uh, those two go to the left hand, time or period. That makes Yoruba language to be tonal. But English is not like that. The above five words, five Yoruba words, show the language as being tonal. But English language is not tonal, but stressed. That's exactly what we want to look at now. And that one will tell us how to pronounce certain words the right way. So, let's follow. Usually, the word is broken into syllables, except it contains only one syllable, like go, come, sing, run, dance, eat. All right. A syllable is usually the unit of pronunciation. For instance, we have un, 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 consider three syllables, a unit of pronunciation. Now, I want to look at primary stress. The primary stress is received by a syllable with a strong stress. That is, syllable pronounced more forcibly than the surrounding one or ones. By one here, I mean when you have a bisyllabic word. And by ones, I mean when we have a poly or multisyllabic word. Now, it is indicated by placing a superscript stroke. So see the stroke. The superscript stroke, and that's the way you are going to find it in the dictionary. But the purpose of for the purpose of this uh, lecture, we are going to use capital letters. All right, at the beginning of the syllable, that is the stressed syllable. Now, for example, and the word success, success, which some people call success. Of course, we don't have success in English, so it is indicated on the second C, starting the stressed syllable in the word. So, 
and the word that's C. It means C E S S is stressed. Why the second one is uh, uh, secondary stress is not stressed. So that is it. Now we first of all want to look at some bisyllabic words with four syllable stressed. There are so many of them. But I have this uh, for you. For instance, we have teacher, we have artist, we have fortune, not fortune. No, we have madam, not madam. College, not colleague. Colleague, not colleague. Please take note. Comet, human, simple, scatter, corner, danger, butcher. Woman, Lego, Order, we have Cordia, Stupid, Engine, ETC. There are so many other words. We will still come across some of them as we continue the lecture. Now we want to go to some bisyllabic words with the second syllable stressed. We have had a look at uh, bisyllabic words with the first syllable stressed. That is where you have ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh. ah. And this one is ah, 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 ah. They don't sound alike. All right. We have, we have artist. Don't forget we have artist. A R T I S T. We have artist. This is artist. Afternoon. Not afternoon. Afternoon. Cassette. No cassette or cassette. Success. Intact. Not intact. Control. Away. Entice. Conclude. Demise. Confirm. Canoe. Humane. Don't forget we have human. Human. That is humane. They condone. It is, there are so many other words, hundreds of uh, such words in the dictionary. Stress can be used to distinguish the parts of speech that certain words belong. Some words are the same spellings as nouns and as verbs, but the stress enables us to distinguish the category they belong to, e.g., we want to look at some examples here. Word, noun of it, verb of it. We have export. Export, export. Desert, desert. Refuse, refuse. Re record, record. Rebu, rebel. Convict, convict. Subject, subject. I want to go through these words again, although I still have others to add to this. We have the noun here, we have the verb here, but they don't sound alike, although they have the same spellings. Now, export for noun, export for verb. Desert for noun, desert. Proverb. Refuse, refuse. Record, record. Rebel, rebel. Convict, convict. Subject, subject. Produce, produce. Retail, retail. Increase, increase. Decrease, decrease. Import, import. Mandate, mandate. Suspect, suspect. Consent, consent. Comment, comment. Convert, convert. You know, we have a new convert in our church. Then he has just been converted to Christianity or to Islam. Insert, insert. Survey, survey. Permit, 
permit, object, object, contact, contact, present, present. So let me go over this once again. Please listen. Produce, produce, retail, return, increase, increase, decrease, decrease, import, import, mandate, mandate, suspect, suspect, consent, consent, comment, comment, convert, convert, Insert, insert, survey, survey, permit, permit, object, object, contact, contact, and present, present. Now we want to look at those words that uh, contain three syllables with the first syllable stressed. First syllable out of the three syllables stressed. Suitable, erudite, parvenu, educate, editor, counselor, cardigan, comfortable, calendar. Please take note of that, it's not calendar. Calendar, car is stressed. Conjugal. Envelope, envelope, entourage. Take note, this is taken from, I think, from French. Entourage, Democrat, Nudism, Recipe, Horrible, Counterfeit, Countersign, Comedy, and some others. So, those are the ones. Three, some three syllable words that uh, have stress on the first syllable. Now we want to look at uh, another set of three syllable words having stress on the second syllable. Fiance, fiance, condolence, importance, distribute, contribute, take note, not contribute, contribute. Pneumonia, not pneumonia. Committee, not committee. Edition, emphatic. Encircle, envelope. Take note of this envelope and envelope. This envelope. So this one is noun. Envelope is noun, envelope. Is verb. Erroneous. Encounter. Recipient. Inferno. Not inferno. Adjacent. You know, in mathematics, people say adjacent. Adjacent. Libido. Umbrella. However. Moreover. It is. Now you want to look at those ones, although there are very few, that have stress on the third syllable. Three syllable words having stress on the third syllable. Guarantee, expertise, magazine, magazine, enrollee, personnel. Don't forget you are personnel, but this is personnel. Entertain, it is. Now we want to look at some of these uh, polysyllabic words that are variously stressed. By being variously stressed, I mean uh, stressed in different uh, places, on different syllables. So you have kindergarten, keen stressed, dictionary. Please take note, dictionary, not dictionary, dictionary, mm -mm -mm. category. Category, vegetable, vegetable, malapropism, malapropism, caterpillar, caterpillar, parsimony, 
parsimony. Agriculture. Agriculture. Chauvinism. Chauvinism. Take note. That CH is S. H is represented as C. So we have Chauvinism. Expenditure. Expenditure. Not expenditure. Expenditure. Confirmative. Confirmative. Apologize. Apologize. Photographer. Photographer. Derogatory. Derogatory. Not derogatory. Laboratory. Not laboratory. Laboratory. Embarrassment. Not embarrassment. Embarrassment. Corroborative. Corroborative. Etc. There are so many other poly or multisyllabic words that are, are being periodically stressed. But we want to go to the specific now. We want to go to the specific, uh, specifics. Polysyllabic words that end with the following suffixes. You remember your suffixes? I C, I O N, I A N, and I A L have their stress on the syllable preceding the last syllable. That's the syllable that comes before the last syllable. The most polysyllabic words that end with I C, I A L, I A N, I O N have their primary stress on the syllable that precedes the last syllable. And we have examples here. We have some examples here. Dynamic. Dynamic. It's not that it receives distress. Economic. It's not that it receives distress. Photographic. It's gra that receives distress. Democratic. It is gra that receives distress. Confidential, it is then that receives distress. Territorial, it is to that receives distress. Controversial, it is the that receives distress. Artificial, it is fi that receives distress. Vegetarian, it is te that receives distress. Phonetician, it is ne that receives distress. Electrician, it is three that receives distress. Politician, it is T that receives distress. Expectation, it is T that receives distress. Ejaculation, it is lay that receives distress. Then accommodation, it is day that receives distress. Supervision, it is V that receives distress. There are so many other words ending with any of these and then the last but one syllable receives distress the last but one syllable which people uh, call uh, second to the last that receives distress Thank you. most polysyllabic words that end in the following suffixes a t c a r a r f y have their primary stress on the third to the last syllable. That is the last but two syllables. Legitimate. G is stressed. Legitimate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Recuperate. Q is stressed. Educate. A is stressed. Because we said that the third to the last. And last but two syllables. A is stressed. There are so many other words, polysyllabic, that are in the that can be pronounced as such. So many accommodate and so, so many other words. We want to uh, look at C A L words, most polysyllabic uh, words ending in C A L. Political. Lee is stressed. Rhetorical. To is stressed. Now we are on AR. Additional. D is stressed. Professional. Fair is stressed. Educational. K is stressed. 
Now we are on Fy. Clarify. Cla is stretched. You know that one has just only three syllables. So it's the first one. Clarify. OK, sorry. Intensify. Ten, stretched. Electrify. Lack, stretched. And so on and so forth. Most polysyllabic words that end in ism are stressed on the first syllable. I think most take note. Later I will tell you those that do not buy the idea. Alright, we have criticism. Criticism. You know some people will say criticism. Criticism. Socialism. Journalism. Ugnism. Formalism. Terrorism, not terrorism, terrorism, euphemism, you know, remember in literature, euphemism, nepotism, mannerism, cartism, and of course, modernism. So those are the, those, so those are some of the words that uh, we are able to write. There are so many other words that begin but I hence in easy, but have the first syllable stress. <laughs>